Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as CO2 Emission Rating by Vehicles Using Data Science, which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. So, before seeing the execution of the project, a little brief about this project. So, we all know that every day the usage of transport vehicle is increasing in a numerous way and uh, due to the increase in the transportation vehicles the emissions from the vehicles called CO2 that is carbon dioxide is also increasing which affects the environment so the major problem of the environment is the usage of this transportation private transportation vehicles and the emissions that is made by these vehicles so to find out the co2 emission rating so in this paper the authors have proposed a model using that they will be finding out the co2 emission ratings of the vehicles so we are not going to implement the same as mentioned in the base paper and let us see about the proposed model and uh, here we are going to use random forest classifier as our proposed model and uh, we have achieved the train score of 100 percentage and test score of 99 percentage and as the existing system we are going to consider take, take that implementation of the existing system as decision tree classifier and uh, using the decision tree classifier we have achieved the train score of 100 percentage and test score of 98 percentage so in this project we are going to implement both the existing system and the proposed system so here uh, we are, will be showing final result will be showing with the both existing proposed system and will be showing the accuracy which is highest with the proposed system so now uh, let us see the documentation part so here you can see the IEEE base paper title that is CO2 emission rating by vehicles using data science and or you can use our proposed title that is a machine learning based approach for rating and prediction of CO2 vehicle emissions using data science so this is the IEEE base paper abstract and let us see about the our proposed abstract so as mentioned this project is uh, yeah, data driven initiative aimed at assessing and rating the carbon dioxide emissions of the new light duty vehicles available for retail sale in Canada 2020. So the data set that we have used is the retail sale in Canada in 2022 the latest data set that we are using and uh, the, we are going to use two models that is random forest classifier the decision tree classifier that is mentioned here and here in the data set we have a factor of uh, co2 rating and uh, smog rating so where uh, the rating from 10 1 to 10 so 1 means worst and 10 means best so the same as smog rating also is 1 to 10 is available where 1 is from 1 to 10 1 is means worst and 10 is best so based on the uh, the, the, the proposed model will be classifying and will be showing that which uh, model vehicle is best and worst part of it and uh, it's coming to the existing part as mentioned so we are going to consider the decision tree classifier as the existing model and uh, the details of the existing model is being given and disadvantage of the existing model is overfitting lack of robustness limited handling of continuous variable bias towards dominant features difficulty in representing complex representations difficulty uh, in complex relationships no out of the box handling missing data limited interpretability for deep trees not ideal for imbalanced data limited support for regression so these are the disadvantages that we have mentioned in the documentation and coming to the proposed system we have implemented using the random forest classifier and the details have been given here and these are the advantages of proposed system and coming to the system architecture so the input data set is given and pre-processing and feature selection is made and the random forest classifier is applied 
so here we are also applying the existing model also as we are seeing only about the proposed model the random forest classifier is only mentioned here and we are going to predict the results as prediction of co2 emission rating and the performance analysis and graphs will be shown and uh, so the coding language that we have used is python and the version is python 3.10.9 and for web framework we have used flask and front end part is html css and javascript and this is about the reference part now before uh, execution i'll show you the data set part so here you can see this is the data set fuel consumption ratings this is the canada data set for the year 2022 so here you can see the model year so which year the the model card is being done and here you can see the year is about 2022 so all our, all our latest version cars and here you can see the make like the make like akura alfa romeo audi bentley bmw so there are various makes and for the makes they have a particular model car so there you can see the model of the vehicle like for akura it is ilx and uh, like audi you can see a3 sedan so this kind of uh, models are given so now our next feature is vehicle class so what is the class of the vehicle that is compact or suv or mid-size or it is two-seater subcompact so these are the different vehicle classes that is available and there is a feature called engine size this is about the engine size like 2.4 or 3.5 like that and cylinders that is available in it and what is the transmission and fuel type and fuel consumption so here you can see fuel consumption which is in the city for per liter 100 kilometers and this is about fuel consumption of hwy is highway so this is for the city and this is for highway and this is for combination of both the city and the highway that is comb and fuel consumption of m mpg means miles per gallon so here this is about the kilometer and this is about the miles per gallon and this co2 emission which is uh, the uh, feature that is available for finding out the co2 emission of the vehicle uh, the parameter is gram per kilogram kilometer and uh, co2 rating as mentioned which contains 1 to 10 and a small rating this is also 1 to 10 where 1 is worst and 10 is the best so these are all the features that is available in the data set so it contains around 400 no, sorry 946 data set records in it so now uh, before execution make sure that you fulfill the requirement that is available in the requirement file with exact version of python and the library is installed in your system so first copy the source code location go to the source code location copy the source code location now go to your command prompt now first go to the drive location where you have pasted the code in my case i have pasted my code in f drive so i'll go to the f drive now so now go to the source code location type cd space and paste the location that we have copied and click enter so now we are into the source code location now type python app dot py and click enter now kindly wait for a few minutes So now you can see the URL. So just copy this URL, go to any of your browser. I'm going to Google Chrome and paste the URL that we have copied. And now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title CO2 emission rating by vehicles using data science. And first click this login menu. So once if you click this login menu, it will be navigated to the login page. So where you need to enter the standard uh, default username password as admin and admin because we have not used any database in the project so for that purpose we are using the default username password as admin and admin and click login so once the login is success you can see this login success message and click ok so now it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set so in the source code folder you can find this upload.csv file so just select this upload.csv and click upload 
now once the uh, file is uh, uploaded it will be navigated to the preview part where you can preview the data set that we have uploaded so you can check the data set so as i have shown you in the csv format here you can see in the browser format with the features of id model here make model type vehicle class and engine cylinder transmission fuel type fuel consumption city fuel consumption for highway for, for combination of both and mpg and co2 emission and co2 rating and smog rating so you can just scroll down till the end of the page and you can find the complete data set has been loaded into the browser preview part and now we need to click the click to try not test button and kindly wait for a few seconds <coughs> sorry So now you can see the message training finish message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the important part that is the prediction part. So where you need to predict the carbon dioxide prediction of the vehicle. So first thing is like you need to enter the cases. So first let me show you with the case where make is Akura. So here you can find all the makes that is available in the data set. So for the first case let me show you with the Acura and vehicle class. Here you can check with the classes that is available for this for my case it is compact and engine size is 2.4 and cylinders is 4 and transmission is AM8 fuel type is Z so here the Z means premium gasoline X means regular gasoline D means diesel so that has been shown here and here the next uh, data, data is it uh, type parameter is fuel consumption for city limit and uh, which is 9.9 uh, and next one is for the highway that is 7 and combination of both is 8.6 and M mpg is 33 and here you can see the model so as i mentioned so we have implemented two models in this project so that is random forest and class Tree, so where the random forest gave the best accuracy so you can select both the models and find the results of it so we have implemented with the both so you can select from the drop down whichever model you wanted so this time i'll select random forest classifier and click the predict button and now you can see the predicted results so the model that you have selected is random forest classifier and co2 rating is 6 and co2 is best for it and uh, now let me select other case with uh, make as uh, jeep vehicle class as suv standard engine size is 5.7 cylinders is 8 transmission is a8 fuel type is x Fuel consumption is 15.6, fuel consumption is 11.7 .7. and combination is 13.8 and MPG is 20 and let us see the result for the proposed uh, model of random classifier and click predict. And now you can see the result for the model uh, random forest classifier co2 rating is 3 and uh, the carbon dioxide emission is worst so it is classified as this vehicle is classified as worst so let me show you with the same uh, type with the the pro existing model also so let me select the same values again jeep suv standard engine is 5.7 cylinders as 8 transmission as a8 fuel type as x 15.6 11.7 and fuel consumption is 20 so now let me select decision tree so i have given the same value for which we got this rating as 3 now let us check with the decision tree classifier model and click predict 
So now you can see it is also given the same uh, rating for the decision tree classifier which is 3 and which is classified as worst part. I can show you with the other case with, uh, with the model uh, Ford and vehicle class as SUV small, engine size is 2.5, cylinder is 4, transmission is AV, fuel type is X, fuel consumption is 5.4 for city and highway 6.3, combination 5.8, and in MPG is 449 and now let us check for the model random forest classifier and click predict and now you can see the model random forest classifier classify this vehicle COT rating as 8 and which is the best and finally I'll show you with the case of Hyundai is a full size engine is 1.6 cylinder is 4 transmission is AM6 fuel type as X fuel consumption is 4 fuel consumption for highway is 3.9 and for combination is 4 and for uh, MPG 71 and now let us check the result for the model random forest classifier and click predict and now you can see this vehicle make Hyundai make with the model random forest classifier as predicted COT rating is 10 which is the CO2 best so this vehicle has the best part of the CO2 emission rating and in this way you can check with other cases that is available in the test folder or in the train data which is available as there are more data I cannot show you which each and every one so the time increases for the video size also increases so let me cut down with the few cases you can check with other one and now let me move to the next case that is the performance analysis just click this performance analysis menu <coughs> sorry and it will be navigated to the performance analysis page where you can see the performance analysis parameter like precision recall f1 score of it so here you can see the performance analysis for the random forest classifier model uh, where we have the 10 classes for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and this is the confusion matrix for the true on the printed label of it and next comes the decision tree performance analysis so the first part is the exist that is proposed model performance analysis parameter and here you can see the decision decision tree which is the existing model performance analysis parameter and the confusion matrix for the same with the true of the printed label of it and uh, kindly note that this performance analysis parameter and chart part both are static so because it does not varies according to the input that go you are going to give and the printed result of it because these are being printed from the python code that we have model code that we have written in the back end part and final comes the chart part so just click this chart menu it will be navigated to the chart part so here you can see the chart which is compared with the existing the proposed the proposed is random for us which contains the accuracy of 99 percentage and decision tree which contains the accuracy of 98 percentage so we have and we and here here you can see the uh, worst con this is the data this has been depicted from the data set that we have trained up with so which contains 40 percentage of worst and 60 percentage of best part of the co2 emission that has been depicted so this is about the accuracy and this is about the data set that we have used so these uh, these both are being static because we are not using any database in the project as mentioned earlier so this being plotted manually according to the result that we have been generated in the backend code so we prove that uh, random forest classifier performs best when compared to any other model for the co2 emission rating here and now let me log out and this is all about the project CO2 emission rating by vehicles using data science using Python. Thank you for watching.